There's power in short prayers. When I was about 10 years old, I was in our apartment. I came home from school, nobody was home. My mom was still at work, my brother was still at school, and there I saw it, in the candy dish. One piece of butterscotch candy. I opened it up, popped that hard candy in my mouth, but instead of going down my mouth, it went down my windpipe. Totally choked me. I couldn't even cough or wheeze, I couldn't breathe, it really felt like somebody took a pair of pliers and just completely cut off my windpipe. I ran to the phone to call 911, but I realized I couldn't speak. So thinking quickly, I ran outside to the apartment next door and I banged on their door, but nobody was home. I was getting nervous now. I ran to the street to try to wave a car down. No traffic. And I remember after about a minute in thinking to myself, I'm gonna die a very embarrassing death, a death by butterscotch candy. And I'll never forget stopping and praying a short prayer. Lord, show me what to do. I couldn't say it out loud, I just thought that prayer to God. And a thought was placed in my brain, stand on your head. And I put my head to the grass, and put my hands on the ground, I put my feet in the air, and sure enough, that butterscotch candy fell from my windpipe into my mouth and I spit it out of my hand, coughing and gagging and wheezing. And I looked at that piece of candy and I ate that sucker because it was not gonna win. Power in short prayers. Sometimes you gotta say a short prayer. This is exactly what Peter prayed when he was sinking in the water while he was walking out to Jesus in the Sea of Galilee. In Mark 14, 30, he prays these words. Lord, save me. Feel free to pray long prayers, but be empowered to pray short prayers in that traffic jam, right before that important meeting, right before you share the gospel with someone else. God, give me strength. There is power in short prayers.